morning everybody if you're watching this video it's not painting and decorating related this is um, in the playlist something of interest um, I'm not one for not doing something a bit different uh, particularly when I'm doing something that might be of interest to some people now what I'm going to do today I'm actually going to fit in my car it's a nice um, Saturday um, I'm going to fit an STI boost gauge to my car and you're going to go Phil you're not an electrician I'm not an electrician but this is plug and play so if you're watching this you're obviously interested in knowing how to fit an STI and this is a proper Subaru STI boost gauge to and I will say to a 2008 onwards to 2014 um, STI Subaru and you're watching it because that's what you're interested in it's probably a basic similar principle to other cars but what I'm going to show you is how to um, rig it all up I'm not going to do it step by step as in a slow-mo video um, doing it stripping it all down I'm going to tell you what you've got to do what how you're going to do it and hopefully from that you'll be able to do your own because I'm not an electrician I'm not a mechanic but I do know how to do plug and play because we like plug and play so um, bear with me I'll be back in a few seconds after you've seen a bit of an intro for me Phil back with painting and decorating if you're interested in painting and decorating it's the channel for you so I'll be back in a few minutes and I'll show you what I've got and what we're going to be doing so back with you I'm going to tell you what I've got right this is a proper official Subaru boost gauge and um, it looks like that it's very much you see that it says Subaru on it it's very much the same as a Defi and I know it's like a Defi boost gauge because the parts on it say Defi but this is one of the optional extras you could buy through Subaru you can still get them now um, Japanese parts and stuff like that you can order and get them shipped over to the UK but I'm going to show you what I'm going to be doing I've got the boost gauge it comes with let's have a look at this it comes with a, a wiring harness that is plug and play everything plug and plays into itself that connects to the boost gauge that connects to the boost gauge you've got a T-pipe that comes off your vent uh, let's let's call it a dump valve on the engine I'll show you that in a minute but everything plugs and plays there's the vent pipe you put a T piece in and away you go so if I'll spin that over I'll show you the bits on my table you know my little table so here we are currently I've just taken the housing off around the um, clocks speedo that is dead easy to do you can look at YouTube videos if you want but literally it pulls forward just carefully prise it forward with your fingers it's in two pieces that's on the inside and that literally just unscrews off it so that isn't a complicated part to take off right so what have we got we've got instructions all in Jap J Japanese that's brilliant isn't it Japanese it's all in Japanese can you hear me now it's all in Japanese now if you use something like Google Translate you can go through all these and you can read through it but it's a bit like um, like a flat pack you can actually see the pictures that you need to um, be looking at and if I zoom in on that that is what the engine bay is there's your, your dump valve you put in a t-piece can you see that you put in a t-piece off that pipe there it feeds around the top mount intercooler you've got your little controller which is that your defi controller you fit at the back of your engine bay you bring the wires all the way around the back of your intercooler and then there's a big grommet that takes you straight into the front uh, driver's side of your of your actual um, compartment of your car and that's where you feed everything through so if you can just see look piece pipes this I have done a Google Translate on all this there's nothing untoward to worry about it is literally plug and play you see bits there the only thing I would say is just make sure you disconnect your battery off the negative before you start doing anything and um, just have all your tools ready like I've got here so instructions I've taken the housing off already I'll show you that in the car there's the actual STI boost gauge your t-piece there's the housing now this housing has got all the, the fitting kit with it and that fits 
on top of there and you're going to say how do you know where it fits on top of there again this is plug and pri plug and play in the instructions it tells you to turn this over and if I can show you I don't know whether you can zoom in because this you can either get um, an oil pressure gauge or a boost gauge now the boost gauge goes somewhere on this side if you're looking at it the oil pressure gauge goes on this side now if I turn that over because I want it there like that and I'll spin it round can you see there's three marks one two three and that's where you drill it even tells you where to drill so these are the two little holding brackets and then yeah top of my head without looking in the instructions I think it's a 15 mil hole to actually bring um, bring your wires in and the wire that comes in through that would be this to connect to the back of that then that is your plug and play harness that connects through that 15 mil hole that you'll drill and that if I do that so that when it stops spinning stop spinning that connects there white to white that connects there blue to blue so I think that's just talking briefly about what you've got um, to do on your um, your housing and it's all marked even the other sides marked if you can see down there I don't know whether you can see you can see down there it's even marked there and there if you're fitting a oil pressure gauge but I'm not looking at doing the oil pressure gauge I'm looking at these three one two three so that's that right I'm going to go on to the engine bay and show you where everything is in the engine bay so just bear with me oh let's focus here's the engine bay lovely cloud like like a clean engine bay so what we're doing is right here's where you waste gate well do we call it a waste gate or a boost gauge it's where you would be fitting a boost gauge here's your vent pipe now what you've got to be doing is you're going to be cutting that putting it oh i can't see it cutting this pipe here putting a t-piece in it feeding that extra t-piece you know what i've shown you up there t-piece on there and then the extra vent pipe will go underneath there you'll fit your defi controller somewhere in there and then oh i've got spiders because i don't really use this car very often no it's not been used for the last two years oh that's by the by right and then what you do is you bring your wires up around the back of this this little clips and things bring your wires all the way around the back all the way around there and then the tricky bit's going to get i don't know whether you can see it in there i can't even see it myself there's that many cobwebs um there is where is it i'm looking it's just there if you can just see through that gap there there is a black grommet that that you'll just puncture a little hole in feed your wire through and away you go into the front compartment of your car so that is quite simple don't forget i'm going to say to you disconnect your battery don't forget to disconnect your battery right so that's the engine bay and i'm going to just show you inside now now we're on the inside i've already pre-stripped it down because these are the easy bits to do the housing around the speedo clocks that just pulls forward and it just pulls forward off these clips so there's no screws no nothing now where you need because you can see there's the gaps here you'll feed your wires through and the boost gauge will sit there so there's plenty of room to get your cables through but the main thing is getting to that plug and play connector that is already on these 2008 um, cars is at the back I'm going to show you this because it looks like I've just butchered it all up it's not these all come off dead easy the plug and play socket is literally at the back of these fuses here and you can just see that fuses there so how I've got to this this panel which I'll just reach across this panel is the trim that goes on there and literally that just snaps off undo your rubber and pull that off it comes off on clips nothing complicated on that my next part is you know where the car alarm particularly on a UK car you've got your control pad this is the flux capacitor everybody knows if you're into your series this is your flux capacitor this makes your car go faster like back to the future or it's just to do with a sigma alarm yeah this is your control of your sigma alarm so 
that is normally behind that housing there so if you can see that that comes forward with that on it I've got rid of that for now it just literally unclips right this is the push button start as I've got this side panel off all I've done is literally put my fingers in and push this forward so that's that right I want to get this housing off and this is dead easy there's a screw there and a screw there and I've just undone those to help speed it up they just unscrew there and then this pulls forward just gently pulls forward and I'll do the same the other side so I can get to that fuse panel there so the next time I'll speak to you I'll have removed this and we'll get to that fuse panel because at the back of there there is a plug a big plug socket like oh I can't even show you anything at the moment big plug socket that plugs into that wiring loom so let's come back in a few minutes um, and away we go and what I'm going to do now is just disconnect the battery because I'm going to be starting to take off these um, electrical little bits and pieces so see you in a minute thank you now I know you want to see the tricky bit that um, trim came off dead easy just unplug all your bits that do they just unplug out the back just um, ease them off that all came off nice and easy that trim now the next bit to do is I've just removed that there's two nuts on the top just there they came off dead easy and there's one more nut just there that came off dead easy and then you just ease it that just sorry that just unclips off these so if you can see those there there those are there they just unclip they just pull forward so I've just moved that out of the way which is there now this is the fuse board that I want out of the way because the connector block that I need to get to is just there dead easy look it's just there and that's what can you focus in on that come on whether you can I'll zoom in on it it's just there that one there there that's what you need to get to and that's what your wiring loom will just plug straight into as a plug and play so there we are once I start um, plugging it all in I'll um, come back to you so that's where we are with this cheerio right you can see my wiring harness which is just all there all the gubbins I've plugged into it there you see that it's all plugged in now the end you'll say what's that end for that is um, I think when you connect up to something else because it's like a, an additional one it probably I don't know connects to something or other somebody comments below if you know what that would connect into but it's probably just like a, a piggyback controller so a control I say controller connection so that is there that's plugged in that's not needed the long connector oh if I can get that off the long connector that would go to I would take it the longer one because it will take you to the other side of your um, housing that I've just put a tie clip on it for now to keep it out of the way and the shorter one will go towards the boost gauge so that's what I'm going to do and I think what I might do is just um, rig it all up as a die a dry dummy run before I start um, actually um, getting it all fitted in properly so that's where we are now so that's actually dead easy that goes in there these are all here now the difficult bits gonna get on my hands and knees and try and get through to the grommet and feed the wires through but we'll um, sort something out all right bye bye bit of a change of plan because I've got to get this cable that little blue end through the bulkhead which is well, I said down there that grommet. <coughs> Excuse me, but I can't. I'm I'm really struggling to actually see where the wires come in on the driver's side. It's down there. It's also I've got the STI strut brace, the flexi strut brace fitted, which is a bit difficult. I don't want to take that off. I mean, you can see it's got a torque on it of 20 neutron, whatever it is. Not very much. So I know that there is a bulkhead grommet on the passenger side just there now what I've done I've got a can't be the wire coat hanger I've got 
a wire coat hanger through it, just there, punctured a little hole with a, a blade, only small. Poked, come on focus, can you see it down there? I'll just focus on that. Poked it through. Now, I've measured, made sure that there's enough cable, and it is, of course it is. I've taken out the glove box compartment, that's dead easy. That just drops down, unclip off the end, and squeeze the sides in, and it drops down. It's also good if you want to change your pollen filter. I don't want to talk about changing pollen filters, but there's a pollen filter in there. See, I've not got a dirty pollen filter. Anyway, back to what we're doing. Let's move that. In there, I can just feel at the back of my hand, if you can see my hand, or oh, can you see me? My hand down here, you can see my fingers. There, oh, you can't see it. Oh, please, come on, come on, come on. At the end of my fingertips is the actual coat hanger. So that's what I'm gonna use as the guide to get that cable through. And jobs are good. Un. Now, when you put this through, bend it over and take it through like that. Don't try and take it through with the full cable because you could um, pull the cables out that little clip. So bend it over and take it through. Now, because we're using that rubber grommet there, which is easy access, we can actually guide it through a lot easier. So just fold it over, put a bit of tape around it and pull it through and um, should be all right. Then what I'll do, I'll feed it all the way through the gaps there till it comes over onto the driver's side. And then I know that that and there just connects to that defi controller so yeah we're coming we're getting there we've only been like four hours i'm only joking i haven't been that probably been about three quarters of an hour and that's been sorting it out so i'll see you back when i've got um, that cable through and don't forget just once you come back to doing all these just tie clip them in and get them all neat uh see you in a bit just a bit of an update that cable i managed to get through there fed it through the back of the dashboard coming at the back of here the cable is then brought up through this gap I've got it through the back of here all the way up and it's just here coming up to the top so when the actual housings on these two wires come out of a grommet at the back straight into the boost cage that was actually quite simple to do bringing it in through the grommet oh, my fingers in the way through the grommet there I just use the old trusty always have a wire coat hanger put some tape around the end so you're not piercing anything you don't want or scratching it and just feed that through and that's um, how I got through the grommet on the passenger side of the STI fed the cable or wire all the way back that was dead easy to do just get on your hands and knees squeeze in just through there dead easy and then up through the gaps back of the dashboard and to there so that's where we are with that so it's coming along nicely not six hours in far from it cracking on so um, I showed you that cable that we poked through the bulkhead I've now attached the sensor just there to the fixing bracket now I didn't seem to have um, is it the M6 nut and bolt and whatever it is so I've actually used which is the right one um, well right size is a plastic nut and bolt that you'd um, fit number plates on with so that's just tightened up nicely just just there I don't know you can see it but anyway the boost pipe is coming up here just there all the way through you tie clip it to the intercooler fixings not too tight because you don't want to trap it and then you tee it off there's the t-pipe off the um whatever you call it wastegate boost uh, boost valve i don't know boost um sorry boost gate dump valve tee it off there cut it lower down then the t-piece um, pipe goes in there then it follows all the way down i'm just tidying up now the cables that are on this side of the engine bay connected it together I've just put some double um, insulating tape around it I've put a tie clip just to hold it in place there because I'm just going to neaten it up and just tuck it underneath the bulkhead there of the plastic so that's what I'm doing now so we're not far off it now to connect up so quite simple 
I'm not a mechanic, and it's just plug and play. So away we go. Bit of a change of plan. You know all those messy wires. I thought to myself, why have we got the big connector on the engine base side? So what I've done, I've just disconnected that connector from the defi gauge sensor and fed the defi gauge sensor because it was the smaller part of the plug through the bulkhead just there oh you can't see it i'm out of focus through the bulkhead there so i've only got six inch cable this side and all i've done now is just bring it through and it's here so instead of that being on the engine base side connecting to that that just connects into there i've got it passenger compartment side so that actually is a lot neater and then all i'll do is just feed that cable back through so i'd probably say do that than um, the original plan that i'd got so jobs are good and we're nearly there right this is quite straightforward i'm following the instructions on move my phone out of the way fitting the boost gauge right you'll see three holes i've just done countersinking holes just with a really small drill end these need to be 4.5 mil and that will be a 15 so you can see what i've done there i'll show you when it's all completed because this is just straightforward drilling it's just the instructions there 4.5s and a 15 and that's a 15 um, mil spacing and a 21 mil spacing but it's already worked out for you actually on the um, pre-pressed plastic like it has been on the there can you see like it has been on the oil side and this is the boost side so that's that all I'm doing now is just fitting the speedo back just clips in and then two screws at the top <coughs> brought the wires up got the little grommet ready to push straight through the housing and that main surround underneath I've just clipped that back in place connected up any traction control and uh, there's a, I think there's a sensor the other side just connected those up and then I've just got the three connections there three connections there that will do the start button so I'll get that on in a minute I'll just get everything in place and then we'll um, put the housing back on and see if it works there we have it you've not seen much of me because I've been the other side of the camera but I've actually got it all in I've got the wires in I've got the dashboard back in place I've actually got the boost gauge fitted you saw the last bits I drilled I told you how to drill it that was quite easy just drill the holes put the little um, nuts and bolts on tighten them all up so I got that in place oh motorbikes oh like my fast motorbikes um, I've got it in place I'm gonna just spin you around because I've not I've still got bits to fit back on the car like the dash um, glove box and things like that everything else is in place I'm going to show you what this boost gauge is like I have tried it because you know is you know when you talk about a sweaty your bum's twitching like a rabbit's nose because you think you might have it um, not rigged up and connected up properly so I'm gonna show you what it's like and I'm dead chuffed with it uh, what I'm, I will say is when you initially turn the engine on it'll do the sweeps like you'd expect and the light illumination comes on as well now when you turn your headlights on or your side lights the illumination of the boost gauge dims so if you are fitting it like I am in sunshine and you think oh there's no lighting on it don't panic it's actually the fact that it's dimming now i went through the japanese instructions got me google translate on that and it said when you turn on it comes on full illumination but when you turn your lights on it goes it goes dimmer so it was a sweaty moment right let's um, spin you around and let's show you what it's like right i'm back with you the boost gauge is in place there's actually a sticky double-sided tape at the back of that when you know you've got it in place and it's where you want I'll just move it around once you know where it's where it's going to go and it's in the place that you want it your Subaru emblem symbol whatever you want to call it right in that wants to be horizontal take off that double-sided tape at the back 
push the actual boost gauge in place and it'll touch against the back and that'll just hold it in place nicely now in the kit there's a little bit of double-sided uh, well I'll say double-sided sponge I'll call it double-sided sponge it's only it's only um, double-sided on one side of the sponge you wrap that around the actual boost gauge and that is what's holding it in place nicely in the housing so without further ado just please uh, apologies for all the beeping that we've got on this car I've got radar detectors I've got um, night well, I've got the road angel um, camera um, whatever it's called right I'm going to start up foot's on the clutch because it's um, keyless sentry and keyless push button start oh, how good's that how good's that It's the Road Angel Halo, you can hear there. Right, so it's on. Look at this. I'm not going to rev it because obviously the car's been stood for a while, but you can see it working. And that's what I want. Dead chuffed. You can't believe how chuffed I am with this. Right, I'm just going to turn my side lights on and you'll see it dims. Can you see that? That's with your lights off. Turn your side lights on, main beam off. Right, if I turn my engine off, you'll see that that, which looks quite dim, goes black or goes off. There you go. So you know there's illumination there. So that's it, I've done it. I'm gonna stop you, I'm just gonna show you what I've done on the other side. Right, and when I mean the other side, I mean under the, under the bonnet. See you in a minute. Just finishing up you've got your t-piece there i've put some tie clips around there just hold them in place it's not going to go anywhere they're really tight got a tie clip there and then as it goes all the way through the bulkhead grommet is down there and as i said i poke the actual wire of the gauge sensor which is just there all the way through you can just see it, it says defi on it i've got that all the way through so there's actually no wire on this side with a connector whereas if i'd have done it to the instructions the connector would have followed the bulkhead across there connected there and gone in through the grommet bulkhead there which was too difficult i wasn't going to do that i've probably been it's probably i've probably been about four hours on this but obviously i'm not a mechanic so it will take me a bit longer than somebody who knows what they're doing but i'm quite pleased that i've got it in the only thing i've got to do now is like i've said i'm going to show you i'll put me pollen filter back in and then i'll just connect the glove box just put that back in place now <coughs> so you've all got knives and everything here the connector for the sensor i've just put in the back here you can just see it's there look it's underneath the carpet with a load of other wires that are in the car so that's nicely out of the way there and then the cable went up through there through the back of the dash where the radio is to where the actual housing is in the car for the dashboard so that's it i'll just say goodbye in a minute so as i said a little bit of finishing off got that to put on and just put the side panel on and really put me rubber so uh, let's spin that round this is Phil Beckwith the professional painter and decorator on a bit of a different one today I'll put um, well I won't put a link in I'll put the product part number in the let's zoom you back to get me in I'll put the product no uh, I can't even say it. I'll put the product part number in the description below so you can see if you want to order one you can still get them and you can also get the uh, pressure oil gauge as well which would go on the opposite side and to be honest the faffing that i've done with this i don't think i'm up to fitting a pressure oil gauge particularly um connecting it up to the filter so i'll say over and all yeah i'll say over and out so i'll say over and out and jobs are good and i'm really chuffed with that and i'll finish off and um, hopefully this summer we've got some nice driving and i'll see what boost i'm doing on this turbo car it's not a Porsche though, is it? I want my Porsche.